a student asked me as we were making reads together recently whether I used a U or a W scrape. I didn't immediately know the answer, so I ran the experiment and I found out that it made a huge difference. Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the five minute read maker, and I'm here to talk about this uh, little known distinction and what difference it might make for you. I think this is a distinction that is discussed more in European or short scrape read making than in American reads, but I knew what she meant. The phrase refers to the shape at the bottom of the windows here or here, and it looks fairly unimportant at the diagram compared to like the tip, for example, or the transition, you know, that magical area there. It's a nothing part of the read. But what I discovered when I ran the experiment was that this shape at the bottom of the read has a huge impact on the spine here and here, um, and therefore has a lot to do with the overall side to side arc and the opening of the read. The W scrape leaves an inherently strong spine that starts all the way down at the base of the scrape, and for me it had the result of holding the reed wide open in an almost angular way. The opening may have been more like with a strong thickness there and there. Um, prior to running this experiment, I was having a lot of trouble with the overall openness of my reads. Everything felt too open and too flat, and there was less core to the sound than I wanted. It seemed that nothing I was doing would work to settle them down. I was scraping and scraping right in this area, trying to get uh, the reed to settle. Uh, and I tried uh, obsessively checking the diameters of the cane. I tried winding longer, and I wasn't happy with my own reads, and I was getting complaints from some of my customers. Because you know what? No one is immune from reed slumps. When I ran the experiment and tried to produce the U scrape down here, I had to break the spine down quite a bit down in this area. Because I'm really comfortable scraping on either side of the spine in my windows, uh, I didn't spoil the overall structure of the reed, but I did build in a naturally flatter arc, more like that, than I had been getting uh, before and immediately I was more comfortable with the opening and the pitch came up and I had an easier time collecting the sound. Here you can see on some actual reads what I mean. When I consciously tried to strive for that strong W, like you can see here and here, um, I get this nice strong spine and a quite a large opening. When I'm scraping for the U, down in this area, I go much more through the middle of the reed, and that difference seems to translate all the way up into the heart, which is not as strongly arced, and uh, the tip, which closes in a more comfortable way. As I worked to finish these reeds, um, and uh, they had not been scraped very much before I started this video, I find that most of my work on this U-shaped back. Um, it's going to be quick, a quick polish to the heart and then a little more opening of the windows and I'm working a little more at the top of that window area and I am building in a little bit more spine. I'm working on the right side and on the left side. low crow, so I'll clip. And that feels pretty good right away. Um, on this W read, which you can see here, the first thing I notice is that my plaque goes in almost without effort. Like the reed is open enough that it's not really holding onto my plaque. It doesn't want, <laughs> it doesn't want to be closed. Um, even just doing this, I can feel that frustration I was feeling a month or two ago. So as I work in the upper part of the back here, you can, I can still see a really strong spine and I'm feeling strongly like I need to work through the center to get this guy settled down a little bit.
struggling to get the pitch up, the pitch of the crow, I should say, up on this W scraped reed, and I can feel under my fingers that the opening is just very strong still and doesn't want to settle. On the oboe. It's okay, but I'm having a hard time, as I said, holding it closed. Whereas on this U reed, it's really no more finished than the W reed, but to me, it just feels easier. It's easier for me to make a nuance. It's easier for me to uh, handle. So um, to answer that nice question that my student nicely asked, clearly a better solution for me is to use a U scrape than a W scrape in this season. I love learning new things. I've solved my recent reed slump. I can easily imagine using this distinction intentionally, especially around the time of a seasonal change when the openings of my reed become unmanageable one way or the other. It's just another weapon in the arsenal of the five minute reed maker. I hope this has been helpful to you. This has been a five minute reed maker lesson. You can follow these short videos right here on YouTube and subscribe if you wish. If you have questions or concerns, or you want to order reeds or cane, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. And in fact, I'd love to hear what else I can help you with, and what my next short video should address for you. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.